Alrighty, alrighty. Hey guys, Anime Western Gax here. This is going to be a reaction to The Witch and the Beast, Episode 5. Hope y'all enjoy this reaction. If you do, then yeah. Help me uh, get to a thousand subscribers and let's just get into this episode. Yeah, we got explanations on how all this works. Ooh. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Under you. Couldn't get any information about Venora. Hmm. And yeah. Ew. And you'll see him again soon. <laughs> uh huh. That's smirk. All right, so yeah, last episode we switched our characters from Ashaf and Guido to um, Johan and Fenora because of the case that popped up with these undead. So yeah, Ashaf and Guido's whole thing is about fighting witches, so yeah, they hand off the case to other members of the... um. Order, which is Johan and Fenora, who are necromancer pair, or we have Fenora and her bodyguard, I guess. Fenora being a necromancer, and yeah, we got Johan, who is her bodyguard. Ooh. So yeah, we have them kind of going around. Trying to figure out what's going on with this whole undead situation. Someone is resurrecting the dead and then not doing anything with them. And we get a whole bunch of rules about necromancy. Like it's not some taboo thing or taboo in certain places, but there's a bunch of rules to it. So you're not supposed to just revive the dead and... Willy nilly, pretty much. There's just things to it, like rules and conditions. Like you have to let the family of the deceased, if they want to resurrect them, they have to be involved. Or you'd have to like explain to the person a whole bunch of list of rules and regulations, basically. No problem, huh? Mm hmm. Someone he cared about died. One sight me. Hmm. Perfect. Hmm. Yeah. Beauty and death. Epilogue. Ooh, who's that? Hmm. So yeah. Yeah, does care about him. Ew. Just drag them away. Oh. Hmm. Alrighty then. Big old table. Dinner table. Hmm. 
This is, um, well. Happens. Sometimes. Doesn't return. Come and sit. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not, but don't have a choice. Call and dead. Huge amounts of energy. Possible to do it alone. Hmm. Get them that way through regular maintenance. Uh huh. Doesn't need much energy. Mm hmm. Okay. Look like it's empty on the inside. Yeah. Resurrect and dead switch is bare minimum to make them. Hmm. Yeah. Very knowledgeable. Yeah. Whether they're straight or not. That's the real issue. Hmm. Look at that boy. That sound. Oh, quite. Deep sin of creating strays. Mm-hmm. The price. So yeah. Soul would prepare itself for reincarnation. Okay. Yeah. Would flow up and get resurrected. Forcibly pulls them away from that. Hmm. So yeah. <laughs> Eventually dissolves. Yeah. No reincarnation. So we'll be head towards a certain place. Mm-hmm. Just the void, basically. Hmm. Yeah, the void. Sooner or later. Which is even worse, because, yeah, his wife. <laughs> or his fiance. All to a fate worse than death. Hmm. Strip them of the right to choose, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That's real twisted. Yeah. What you're after. Hmm. What's your beauty? <laughs> hmm. If a girl up here, like burning flames. Mm hmm. Oh. oh, yeah. Skin festered. Yeah. Hmm. Hidden beauty. 
Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Extremely twisted. Seeing his face total now. So we haven't actually seen the guy's face this whole time. We just saw his lips or back of his head. Own my skills. Yeah, that's all. Did all this for that. Oh. Mounting the room. No match for your beauty. <laughs> hmm. A resurrection with your body. Yeah. Um, how about no? <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. Thought it was some deeper. That's shallow. Mm hmm. Suddenly ran off. So, yeah, that was the layout. Hmm. Bellcaster sticks to the rules, right? Uh, yeah, something like older. <laughs> Hmm. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, um. Not just an, not an ordinary necromancer. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Okay. A witch. <laughs> a witch and a necromancer. Hmm. Sorry, I called you. Witch and a necromancer. That's definitely something. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that really makes sense now. <laughs> Detach from reality. Yeah. The coldness she was exuding this whole time. Hostage. <laughs> Part of the person's body. Do what you all. Mm -hmm. No matter what happens, I don't intend to stop myself from killing you. <laughs> uh huh. More force, huh? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Battle bonds. Yeah. One thing after another. Or I'll just strays. Mm hmm. Can't, let's, can't beat me with those. Is she? Persist to be undead. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Once in a while, even after knowing all that, people who give their lives to spellcasters. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Death Knights. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Do what you want. So, yeah. Only that guy. Don't kill him. <laughs> Everyone else can go. Hmm. So, yeah. And, yeah. Oh. Blood everywhere. Oh, so yeah, just blood literally everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. No lapse in judgment. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. The voice. <laughs> I like that. Beautiful body. I like how the voice is, because he had his neck slit. And he had throat slit. Yeah. Got a little raspy voice. It's a nice touch. Yeah. Nothing strange at all. <laughs> yeah. Can't revive me. Maintenance, yeah. Hmm. Reason is clear. Not an ordinary one. <laughs> yeah. Not an ordinary undead. So, yeah. <laughs> a bit different. No witches undead, so it's a bit different. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. No stopping him. Special build. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, kill you. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill you. Yeah. She sort of deserved it. Yeah, <laughs> killing you would be too light of a punishment. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oof. Oh yeah. Oof. Ooh. Didn't kill him yet. Just, uh, yeah. Ooh. I'm about to break the law, so, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Keep their lips sealed. Hmm. Save all the victims that, yeah, overlook this. <laughs> well. Right then. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Oof. Hmm. 
<laughs> yep. Make him an undead. So yeah. That's what you're worried about. How much you have even a second of peace, yeah. <laughs> Getting what he deserves. That would be the case. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Torrance, yeah. Happy about it. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> You're too close. Yeah. Where did you put my bag? <laughs> yeah, um... <laughs> you lost it. Yeah, go get it. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Do I look displeased to you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It makes sense. Hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, it's all good. Hmm. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Payback for hurting him. Alrighty. That ended well. Yeah, got what he deserved. So yeah, pretty good episode. We learned what happens to undeads that apparently reincarnation exists in this world. So if you die normally, then you just go into the cycle of reincarnation. But necromancy pulls them out of that cycle. And so once they... When they die again, they're unable to go back into the cycle and instead go into the void, which is, yeah, just nothingness, basically. Or as they described it, it's a place where you can't tell anything, so, like, can't tell up from down, left from right, anything like that, and you're just there for all eternity. And so, yeah, this necromancer guy that they were meeting with, the big bad of this arc, pretty much, has been reviving or bringing people back without telling them anything, so creating strays without explaining any of that to them, so... Yeah, Fenora gives him a pretty fitting punishment of turning him into an undead. <laughs> And then it's going to have him work for her, I guess, or, yeah, something like that, but, alrighty, like the video, share it, sub the channel, and I'll see you all for the next episode, so, later.